Hi, so today I want to talk to you about 25 things that I love personally or find very cool about Winnipeg, Manitoba. Stay tuned. So I'm Jennifer Queen with the Jennifer Queen team and Remax Professionals here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And I am just trying to spread some good word about what it's like living in our city on this channel. So be sure to subscribe and hit that like button if you find value in today's video. So let's get right into it though. 25 things that I love or find interesting about Winnipeg, Manitoba. Fun fact number one about Winnipeg is that we can actually be linked to one of everyone's favorite childhood characters, Winnie the Pooh. If you look at the origins of where his name came from, you will see that the Winnie is actually stems from the city of Winnipeg. Just Google it. Number two, our taxes when you're shopping here, particularly for those coming from other provinces, perhaps where you pay HST. In Manitoba, we pay GST and PST, which amounts still to less than HST in other provinces like Ontario. But one of the great things here is that you only pay GST on gas, which means huge cost savings when you're gassing up at the pumps. Number three, we have great sports here. And we are very passionate fans, particularly when it comes to our hockey here. Uh, we lost the Winnipeg Jets for several years and in 2011 they returned to Winnipeg and the excitement has not died down. We are all super excited to have an NHL team back here and if you go are lucky enough to get tickets to an NHL game, what you're going to find is a packed arena and tons of raving fans. The CFL, which plays out of the IG Stadium, is also another great competitive league and we've been doing quite well. We're currently, at the time of recording this, uh, headed to the Grey Cup Championships. So fingers crossed that we will win again. Also, if you like professional soccer, we have a professional soccer league that also plays out of that IG field, as well as the Gold Eyes that play out of Shaw Park in the heart of downtown Winnipeg. All great sports to catch up on. Fourth thing, we are some of the friendliest people you will find in all of Canada, maybe all of the world, but our license plates, they prove it. Reason number five, we have so much green space here in Manitoba. Maybe it's because we're flatlands and it's easy to kind of plan out your neighborhoods with development, but what you're going to find is regardless of the neighborhood you are in, you go a kilometer in any direction, you would be hard pressed not to find some type of green space for you and your family to enjoy. Reason number six, in the winter, we have a really cool river skating trail on the Assiniboine River. And it's something that every Winnipegger should experience grab your skates, head down there. You can skate for miles and miles. It's a really long trail. Seven, and this might come as a surprise to some, but I'm saying it, the weather. Yes, it is really cold sometimes here in the winter, but with that winter brings a lot of fun activities, whether it be the skating I just talked about or snowmobiling, if you're into that, cross country skiing. There's ton of, tons of options to do through the winter. But then in the summers, when we shift to those summer months, we have some of the most pleasant weather in all of Canada. Kind of that mid twenties range, just beautiful. Um, and it goes on for months and months. So it's quite enjoyable here in the summer. Number eight, coffee shops. We have some really cool independent coffee shops here in Winnipeg too, that I really encourage people to explore. There are some very unique offerings, very delicious coffees too. I would step out beyond that typical Starbucks and just do a little bit of exploring because we really do have great options here. Reason number nine, we also have some great local breweries here that produce some very delicious beer in-house. And what you will find is the city of Winnipeg, I believe, is offering an initiative right now where you can actually purchase a pass and it gets you into four breweries or more. You can select your different packages and it allows you to sample flights from four different breweries within a certain time period um, because there's just an abundance of them and the options out there are delicious as well as the actual restaurants themselves having some pretty cool vibes. So I would highly recommend checking those out too if you're looking for a night on the town. Reason number 10, 
What you're going to find here as well are that we have fairly family oriented neighborhoods. You would be really hard pressed to look in any neighborhood in Winnipeg and not find at least a minimum of 50% of the neighbors within your area having children at home. Most households here do have some children living at home, super family oriented community. Food diversity here is another great one. What you're going to find is we have a very diverse population, but what that means is there's a variety of food philosophies followed here too. Uh, and even particular diets. If you're looking for a ketogenic meal, there are restaurants that actually specialize in that, not just your typical uh, Chinese versus uh, Italian. There are all kinds of specialists here and vegan options too, another great example. There are really an abundance of options here for you to enjoy. Reason number 12, this might sound weird, especially because we are inland and I just talked about the food diversity here, but we really do have some great sushi here. What you're going to find is that, I don't know how they've done it, but they managed to keep the sushi here tasting super fresh. I have had many dishes of sushi and what you're, what I have always found is it tastes just as good as the sushi I have enjoyed on the coast, believe it or not. Reason number 13, we are a bike friendly province. So while there is snow on the ground through the winter months, it's not uncommon to see people biking with those bikes with those huge winter tires on them. Obviously it's a little more risky in those months because the roads are much more slippery. But what you will find as you travel through Winnipeg is they have uh, put a large amount of expense into widening lanes and creating bike lanes so that bikers could commute to work along major thoroughfares uh, with less risk of being in the actual traffic lanes. And it's really in all directions of the city. And, and those initiatives are still continuing today, but there are some great biking routes here. Reason number 14. So I kind of talked about the Assiniboine River already, but I would be leaving out a huge, huge fact or piece of Winnipeg history if I didn't talk about where the Assiniboine and the Red River meet, which is right at the forks in downtown Winnipeg. And I highly recommend that everybody go visit this historical site. It is really cool. What you will find when you're there are different markings showing the flood levels of different years. And you would be really surprised to see how much of Winnipeg was underwater at some point. Which brings me to point 15, which has to do with the Winnipeg floodway. Uh, after the flood of 1997, which was a, our last huge flood here, uh, what the province enacted was a huge floodway protection system, which is essentially this huge ditch that goes around the whole city of Winnipeg and acts as an option to divert water when the river levels get too high. And it helps to kind of just spread that water out and keep the water much lower um, so that we don't have another flood of 97 where Winnipeg essentially becomes an island and many people lost their homes that lived along the river. Reason number 16, we have some really cool neighborhoods in Winnipeg, some that really need to be explored. And I have people coming from other cities a lot of the time looking for neighborhoods that are more walkable and we do have those options here. They're a little bit more few and far between. I would say the majority of people moving to Winnipeg will want to get a vehicle, but there are still some really funky and cool neighborhoods that are centrally located that have a good amount of walkability and that downtown kind of core vibe. Reason number 17, our commute times. Winnipeg is a pretty large city of over 700,000 people. What you're going to find here is you would be hard pressed to not be able to get from one end of the city to another in 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, we are spread out, but we have pretty good major thoroughfares. A traffic jam in Winnipeg is nothing like it might be in other larger cities where you're waiting for hours on end. Here you might be, it might take an hour to get home if you had a really bad traffic jam at rush hour. But for the most part, what you're going to find is we have pretty, pretty good traffic patterns here compared to other large cities. Reason number 18, a small town feel. A lot of people moving to Winnipeg, their comments have been after living in Winnipeg for a few years is that Winnipeg really does have a small town feel. Again, we're a larger city, 700,000 people. 
uh, plus, I should say, but what you're going to find is there's almost always only two or three degrees of separation between you and a stranger. It's not uncommon to meet somebody and have a friend in common. Uh, and it really does have that small town vibe where somebody in the grocery line says hi to you or you're just walking down the street. People are often greeting one another saying hi. It's just a friendly uh, small town feel here. Reason number 19, our low cost of living here is pretty impressive. What you're going to find is that our, our home prices are half of the national average, which means you're already saving half of your mortgage payment by moving here. But you're also going to find that Winnipeggers are incredibly frugal and, and good at uh, keeping their costs down. Tickets to go out to a show or to go catch a hockey game are in general lower than they are in other cities in, in Canada. And also dining, restaurants, those are also much more affordable here, I personally find, as well as the number of bargain hunters here. You're going to find that there's many community garage sales that are very heavily attended or, or thrift shops. I would say that we are a very frugal bunch and your cost of living here is quite affordable. Reason number 20, our diversity here. I touched upon this a little bit when I was talking about the food, but we have a very wide range of diversity here. So what you're going to find is there's diversity when it comes both to culture, race, religion here. And as a result, it makes us an incredibly welcoming population, I find. Reason number 21, our electricity costs. I know this seems minimal, but it's something I'm kind of proud of is that Manitoba is a huge exporter of hydroelectric power. We have huge dams up in Northern Manitoba that produce a ton of electricity that means we export to other provinces and states in the US. And what that means though for us is we're closer to the source and we pay much lower rates here. It's usually about a third of the kilowatt hours of what you would see in Ontario. Reason number 22, we have great education systems here, I personally believe. So whether you be starting at a preschool level, going to grade 12, wanting something more specific like Montessori schooling, wanting French immersion programming, or even if you're wanting public versus private schools, there are great options here. And what you're going to find too in the post-secondary realm is two great universities as well as multiple great colleges here too. So there are really good options for any level of study here, whether it be preschool all the way up to post-secondary. Reason number 23, I think we are a great city to live in is because of our geographic location too. We are nearly at the center of Canada. The center of Canada is actually just really 20 minutes outside of the perimeter of Winnipeg. But what that means is we have a bigger airport that can support flights to either coast or if you're wanting to make a quick trip across the border, the US is just an hour drive away from Winnipeg. So geographically, we really have a lot of options for where to go from Winnipeg. 24, I would say, is just the opportunities to get out in the city. I know that a lot of the time people coming here and thinking of our cold winters are concerned about being indoors all winters, but what you're going to find is that the city of Winnipeg is actually incredibly proactive about getting people outside, whether it be festivals like uh, Festival de Voyageur, which happens in February, uh, or just getting people out through their leisure guide uh, by getting them to join some kind of cooking or skating classes or gymnastics, you name it, there's a program for it. And there are always opportunities to get out of your house here during the winter and summer, of course. And reason number 25 why I, I really love this city is really because it is just a nice family pace of living, I find. You're not stuck in traffic on those commutes, which I talked about earlier. You're not having to work because you've overextended yourself on your mortgage. Homes are more affordable here. You're going to find that there's a lot more focus on the family here, kind of a slower pace of life than you might find in other large cities. I personally have now lived here for nearly 20 years since I moved up here to go to university, the University of Manitoba. And 
My husband and I have created our family and we intend to stay here for many years to come. It has been a wonderful city to live in and one that I would be happy to guide you into moving to if you're looking for that help. But if I've missed anything, be sure to leave it in that comment section below. I'm always happy to give advice on moving to Winnipeg or any of your Winnipeg real estate questions. I'm Jennifer Queen with the Jennifer Queen team and Remax Professionals here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that subscribe channel below. And for sure, leave us any comments in the, in the comment section below if there's videos you would like us to touch upon next. Have a great day, guys.